Good morning guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to my first week in my life video that I'm filming while I'm down here in Washington, DC. I've done a couple of different day in my life videos, but I haven't done a week in my life yet. And I think I'm gonna have a really exciting week, so I think this is gonna be a good week to film. Oh, are you joking? I only have one good slice of bread left. The other two are the ends. Today is obviously Monday. We are kicking this week off with a really exciting day today. We've got a good, like, busy agenda. It's currently about 9.30 in the morning. I have a job interview today at one o'clock. If you guys saw one of my most recent videos, I did like a get ready with me in a Q&A. In that video, I was getting ready for a job interview. So that was the second interview that I did with this company. And the one that I have today is going to be my third interview with this company. And this will be, hello? And this will be my first time like meeting them in person, going to their office in person. And actually it'll be my first in-person interview for a while. So I'm excited about that. That's kind of like the main thing that we've got going on today. I also am in the middle of filming my organizing and decorating part three video. So my plan for the morning, I've got about two hours before I need to like get ready and leave for this interview. So my plan for now is to pull myself together and then film a little bit for that video. I got a couple different boxes delivered that I want to to set up. I got like a fake tree for my bedroom, a bigger mirror for above my dresser. And, oh my goodness. And a couple other things. I'm not sure which of these two videos is going to be going up first. If that video goes up before this one, I will link it up in the cards for you guys. If I'm getting my timeline mixed up and this video actually ends up going up first, I'm sure that video will be coming soon. So happy Monday. Welcome to the first weekly vlog of living in DC. I know I used to do these weekly vlogs they're not, not weeklies and like posting them, but like a week in my life type of vlog. I used to do them a lot during my college, my college years, <laughs> but I haven't been doing them as much recently since I've kind of been in my like corporate big girl era. So let me know down in the comments if you guys like these week long videos and I'll be happy to film more. But I'm gonna eat breakfast really quick and get changed and then get started on decorating. So cheers, happy Monday. <laughs> the next like 10 minutes to get ready and to fix my attitude because I just put that stupid mirror up on my wall and I can't even be happy that it looks good because I'm so annoyed with the whole like installation process. Drywall anchors are my number one enemy. Seriously, public enemy number one drywall anchors. I will never use them ever again as long as I live. I feel like I should wash my face because I was sweating. That feels like kind of a good idea. Like genuinely tanked my mood. <laughs> I'm trying to like make jokes about it, make myself laugh about it because good Lord. The mirror is in, it does look really good. I wasn't gonna get a bigger one, I was just gonna use the one that I had, but a lot of you guys were commenting on my previous decorating videos and like on my Instagram saying that I should get a bigger one and y'all were definitely right. I think the bigger one looks way better, but I feel like I'm always gonna resent it for how much of a pain in my butt it was to put together. I think I don't have the right tools. I think you need like a drill bit, but you know what? We got there in the end. So my interview's at one o'clock. It's currently 11.57 and it takes 30 minutes to get there. Y'all know me, I am chronically late. I chronically underestimate how long it takes to get places and overestimate my ability to get there in time. So I have like three different alarms set up. I'm leaving here by 12.15. Not like leaving my apartment, like pulling my car out of the garage at 12.15. Cause I'm like, it's so much better to sit in their parking lot for 10 minutes and be on my phone and kill time than to do it here. Because if I'm there already, I can kill time and not even worry about it because I'm already there. But it would just make such a horrible impression if I get there late. And, you know, I'm trying to, you know, like new year, new me, be a better person and like work on the things that I'm bad at. One of the things that I'm really bad at is being places on time. I'm never late. I'm never like offensively late. It's usually just like late enough to stress myself out to the point where I'm like, two to three minutes behind. Like other people honestly probably don't even notice. It always makes me anxious, but like not anxious enough to do anything about it in the past. So now I'm actually doing something about it. I did already prep the questions that I wanna ask them. Um, I have no idea what they're gonna ask 
me. I've already done two interviews for this position with this company. So we've been over like my experience and my skills and like what the like position expectations and stuff are. So I'm not exactly sure like what to expect out of this interview other than like meeting people in person for the first time. But I'm trying to go with an open mind. I'm gonna bring my computer just in case they ask me to like produce work on the spot. Sometimes in like creative roles or like communications and marketing, they ask you to like produce work that you've done in the past or like they'll give you a prompt and you have like 15 minutes to like make something. I don't know, that could be an option. If it is, I wanna be prepared. And if we don't end up doing that, then better to be prepared for something that doesn't happen rather than have something happen that you're not prepared for. We're doing just quick makeup, just look a little bit more like put together. I definitely should have put cream under my eyes. It's already caking. I still haven't decided what I wanna do with my hair. I kind of feel like I might end up putting it up. I did pick out my outfit already. So that's ready. That's like hanging in my closet. I'm gonna need to put on like a banger playlist on the drive over there because not going into an interview with an attitude about a mirror, it's ridiculous. There's something about this mirror that always makes me feel like my hair is greasy, even though I know for a fact that it's not. So I'm fighting the urge to put dry shampoo in my hair anyway, even though I know it's clean because I washed it literally less than 24 hours ago. One of my biggest life hacks is to use hand lotion in your hair. I don't know if that's controversial or if that's a hot take, but it works literally better than any hair specific product that I've used that's like made for your hair. And it smells really nice but it works really well. Like for me, because my hair is straight, I don't get frizzy hair, but it, I get like static hair, like static electricity, like you wouldn't believe. So this really helps with that. I'm gonna change really quick. I'll show you guys the outfit and then we're gonna head out the door. It's 12.02. We're running on time. All right, here's the fit. I'm heading out the door. I feel kind of silly. This is not how I normally dress, but I feel professional. I've got the work bag. I'll link this down below. I'm pretty sure all of this stuff, I'll link the blazer because that I got online, but everything else I got like a few years ago. But I put my hair in this little low pony and like pulled out some front pieces. I think it works better than having it down. Packed my bag with everything that I think I'll need and we're gonna head out. Wish me luck. I'll give you guys the debrief afterwards. <laughs> so well it went so well i met so many really really nice people like the team seems absolutely amazing and they said that they would be in contact with me tomorrow about next steps so that's really really exciting it's currently 3 19 i got home like probably 20 minutes ago i am starving i ordered lunch from panera bread there's one that's not too far away it's like a half an hour walk and i haven't been out like walking in a while so i wanted to change and then go pick that up it's gonna be lunch but it's gonna be like 5 p.m by the time i get back so whatever it'll be it's fine it'll be four so anyway i'm gonna change out of my interview attire and then we are gonna go walk to get lunch i'm gonna put in my headphones put on a little like hot girl walk playlist and hot girl walk my way um over to panera grab lunch maybe i'll like find a park somewhere or something i'm gonna have to cross national mall so maybe I'll pack like a blankie with me and eat outside. I think that could be very beautiful. Oh my God, what a great idea. That's what I'm gonna do. I just came up with that. I wasn't planning on doing that originally, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna change and then I'm gonna pack a little bag and walk over, pick up lunch and then have a little picnic with myself. I think it'll be so cute. <laughs> Friends on the go. 
Wow, what a great start to the day. I'm still in my PJs. I look crusty as all get out right now. But I just got off the phone with the HR representative. They offered me the job. It's a really, really good offer. And I accepted. I'm gonna have a big girl job down in DC. Oh my goodness. That's so exciting. Ah! <laughs> Wow, what a great week. Oh my God, I just got my first DC big girl job. Wow, that's so exciting. Holy crap. I'm gonna be more like private about the whole job this time around. So I probably won't be sharing as much like actual office content with you guys as I did at my old job back in Maine. Just for like confidentiality reasons, like we brought up in my interviews. So it'll definitely be more like outside of work content, not so much necessarily like inside work content, which honestly is probably good to have a little bit of separation between like big girl work and YouTube work, but I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Wow. I need to, I need to like call my mom and dad or something. This is so exciting. Okay. It is so much later. Um, it's actually, it's so much later. I have been rotting for a little bit, but I'm actually about to head out and run some errands. It's, I feel like it's going to be confusing for me filming and editing this video and my decorating video at the same time, but I'm going to try and make it as like clear and not confusing for you guys as possible. So I'm currently in the process of filming and producing, I guess, my decorating video, which also means I'm currently in the process of actually decorating. One thing that I got for that video and like for my decorations are these floating shelves that are gonna go above my bed. So while I've been rotting, I've been sort of like planning that out. So like I taped up, I think like where I'm gonna put them. I can't decide if that's the right height. I need to like go back on Pinterest and look more at some other like inspiration pictures. Anyway, I put the tape up. I've measured out like where I need to screw in the holes and everything, but it uses drywall anchors. And yesterday, I don't know how much of the footage I'll include in this video. Cause like I said, I'm filming it for the decorating video. Like there's a lot of overlapping footage between these two videos, but yesterday I put up my mirror above my dresser and it looks really good. Like I'm really impressed with it. I think it's the perfect size. I think it looks great, but oh my God, putting the drywall anchors in was such a pain. And I bought a drill specifically for putting up this mirror and those shelves, but the drill didn't come with drill bits it only came with like screwdriver heads so like it came with these guys which is not enough to drill a pilot hole for drywall anchors which is the entire reason that i bought the drill so i'm about to go back out and buy the separate drill bits for this stupid drill and it's going to take a little bit of time up front but i feel like it's going to save me a lot of time in general and a lot of frustration <laughs> I was, y'all, I, you, you saw yesterday I was putting, when I was like doing my makeup and stuff for my interview, tanked my entire mood trying to put the drywall anchors in without the right equipment. So I feel like it's going to be worth it for me to go get the actual correct equipment that I need to put these drywall anchors in the wall and make it more of a seamless process to install the shelves. So that's my plan for right now. I'm gonna go head out and buy the corresponding drill bits that I need. But yeah, the mirror is up and the tree is up and I think they look really, really good. I didn't show you guys those yesterday, but um, yeah, it's coming along, it's coming along. I'm really happy with it and I'm really excited to see what the shelves look like. And I hope that I put them in the right place because I really don't wanna like mess it up. <sighs> I also placed an order, um, I'm not wearing my watch. I also printed out some photos. I tried to order them at CVS, which I don't usually use. I usually use Walgreens for my photos, but the CVS was more convenient in theory, except now it's been like an hour and I still haven't heard from them about whether or not my photos were confirmed. I don't know what to do about that. Luckily, I didn't pay ahead of time for the photos that I printed at CVS. If I end up having to reorder them at Walgreens, then whatever, because at least I won't be charged. I don't know, maybe I'll wait until tomorrow, and if they're not done at CVS by tomorrow, then I'll make another order at Walgreens. Patience, people. Patience pays off. Anyway, I'm gonna run to Target and go grab the drill bits that I need. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they have what I need and I don't need to go run out and make another trip. All I know that I need for sure is a quarter inch drill bit. Everything else, I'm really like handy manning over here. I've truly become Bob the Builder of my own life. If anyone needs me to build furniture for you in the DC area, hit me up. Apparently, it's my new hobby, building furniture and using power tools. So, let's go get my drill bits.
back. I, I'm so, literally went on the saga of a lifetime, the journey of my life, just to find these stupid drill bits. Finally got them. I had to go all over Hill and Dale. It's so much later. It's 6.30 p.m. It was three o'clock around, like 3.30 when I left, I think. Let's see, let's check the timestamps. It was 3.30 when I left my apartment, okay? I had to drive, the closest target to me didn't have drill bits in stock. So I had to drive all the way out to Alexandria, Virginia to go get the drill bits because it said they were in stock. And before anyone comes for me in the comments being like, why do you always go to Target? First of all, shush. I go to Target because it's familiar and I like it. And I have the Target Red card and it's my one of my favorite stores. It's like a calm, peaceful place. It's just, when everything's new, when you're in a new city, everything's brand new, you don't know where anything is, it's nice to be somewhere familiar. So that's one reason I went to Target. The other reason was because there were no, like, hardware stores closer to me than that Target. And I know that Target will always have parking, but these, like, smaller hardware stores, you don't always know what the parking situation is gonna be. So I was like, I'm just going to Target. So I went to Target, get there, walk all the way back to the drill bit section, sparse, empty, void of any and all drill bits. I was so irritated because on the app too, another reason I like Target is because you can check and see what's in stock at what stores on the app. So I go into the app and I check and it says that they're in stock and they're not. I'm staring at the aisle that has no drill bits and looking at the app in my phone. It's like two in stock in Alexandria. It's like, that's not true at all. So the plaza that I'm in also has a Staples and a Best Buy. So I was like, okay, you know what? Before I drive all over, you know, half the goddamn state of Virginia. Let me check and see at these other stores. Like they have to have drill bits. I look online first so I don't go in look like a fool. Go into Best Buy first, ask the customer service guy, and he said Best Buy as a store sells them, but they didn't at that location. Then I go to the Staples right next door. So I go in, I talk to the customer service person. He was like, can I help you find something? I was like, yeah, um, where can I find your drill bits? He was like, drill bits? Looking at me like I had three heads. I was like, yeah, your drill bits. He was like, for a drill? Yes, for a drill! My God. So he's looking at me like I'm like I'm stupid. He asks his manager, the manager was like, no, we don't sell drill bits. I looked at him and I was like, well, online it says you do. So don't look at me like I'm the moron for coming in here asking about drill bits when y'all are the one whose website says aisle 17. So I leave, he goes, you should try Target next door. I almost took his head off. I didn't, I actually politely left and said thank you very much for your help. So I put in my GPS, I'm thinking of all of the different places that could possibly have Walmart, Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's. They're all a 20 minute drive. Every single one is a 20 minute drive away in the wrong direction, like further into Virginia, further away from DC. So I finally, finally, I'm like, you know what, fine. If this is the way it is, this is the way it is, I'm just gonna drive there. I get to this Ace Hardware. It's the most confusing parking garage I've ever seen in my life. First of all, I tried to parallel park on the street and then I had a come to Jesus moment. I was like, I don't really feel like getting my car towed. There were no signs around that said you couldn't park there, but there were also no signs around that said you could park there. And I just didn't feel like getting towed. So I go park in this parking garage, park my car, says elevators up to retail. I was like, great, that's me. Can't find the elevator, so I just take the stairs. Get up, walk around, go into this Ace Hardware. The people that worked there were so nice. Got my set of drill bits. I got a pack of 14 so that hopefully I never have to do this ever again. I'll have these for the rest of my life. These are currently the most valuable thing in my apartment. 36 bucks. Set for life. So I check out, I get them, whatever. Shout out to my dad for having a rewards card at Ace Hardware because I got $5 off. Try to go back to the parking garage. The door to get to the elevator is locked. Oh God. So I go, I circle the building. I'm like, what is going on? Find another door that leads into the elevator lobby, go in, hit the button to for like to go down in the elevator. Doesn't light up, nothing happens. Press it like three times, nothing happens. And then I hear the elevator moving and it's squeaking. I'm like, I'm not, the day that I'm having, the luck that I'm having, I don't feel like dying in an elevator shaft today. So I leave, I just walk through the parking garage. Like I'm walking past cars, walking past parking spaces. I'm like, listen, if this is the way it has to be, then this is the way it has to be. Get back to my car, half expecting it to be towed or have a boot on it, cause I don't know if I can park there. It says public parking, but you never actually know. So long story short, I drove back 
to the original plaza with the Target and the Best Buy and the Staples because there was a Chipotle in there and it was on my way anyway. Um, so I went and I got myself Chipotle for dinner. I don't even know like what I did to deserve this luck, but this is just a PSA for anyone else in the DMV who's looking for drill bits. Just order one online. Just order it on Amazon because it'll be so much more convenient than driving all over the entire DMV area to try and find your drill bits. I'm gonna eat my Chipotle. I got a Chipotle fork also because it always hits better with the Chipotle fork. I don't know why, but I'm gonna chow down on this um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Wednesday. We are off to a productive start to this Wednesday already. I woke up this morning at like 7 a.m. Just could not sleep. So I decided I might as well just get up and get after it. I've been cleaning up my apartment a little bit. I had a lot of trash from like different packages and things that I've had delivered the last few days. So I'm trying to kind of like clean up all of that stuff, clean up all the boxes that I've had from those deliveries. And then I've also been working on like my yarn crafts again, like crocheting and knitting and stuff. But it was getting kind of unruly like all of my yarn and all of my supplies were just like out on my couch and it was starting to feel overwhelming I was like this is really messy and awful so I put all that stuff away I called CVS this morning because I still hadn't heard about my pictures from yesterday from the order that I placed so I called them this morning and I was like hi I placed an order like yesterday at three o'clock i'm just calling to see like if they're ready yet and the girl was like oh yeah what's the name on it gave her my name she went and looked she came back she was like yeah i didn't see anything under that name like what was the email and i gave her my email she's like yeah we don't have anything under that name or that email i'm like good thank you so that was really annoying i did like place another order Got another confirmation. They said it would be ready by 8.30, currently 8.54. So I'm about to call them again and see if they're ready because I want to put the pictures obviously in their frames before I put the frames up on the shelves. So I've got these four frames that I ordered pictures for um, and we're gonna call them and see if they're ready. Hopefully, please just let them be ready. It was supposed to be convenient. I usually, like I said yesterday, I usually print photos at Walgreens. I've never had a problem. And this is my first time printing at CVS because the CVS is way more convenient to me than any Walgreens. So far, it has not been more convenient. Anyway, I might give them a little bit more time. I don't have like a confirmation. I got a confirmation email that the order was placed. I haven't gotten anything saying like your order is done. It says you'll receive a separate email when it's ready for pickup. Your estimated pickup is 8.42 a.m. It's currently 8.55 a.m. So maybe I'll like try my hand at actually drilling the holes in the wall. Um, for the shelves. See how that goes. We all know how much building furniture and putting furniture together improves my mood. I did get the drill bits. I told you guys yesterday I got everything that I need. So if this doesn't go smoothly and take like 30 seconds, I might burn the place down. Anyway, happy Wednesday. Let's hopefully drill all of these holes in the right place. I have to drill eight holes in the wall. So, <laughs> woohoo. Here we go. nice. Bruh. Are you kidding? Stop. Bro. Okay, the shelves are up. They look really good. I'm really happy with them. I think the height is really good. I just got an email that my photos are ready to pick up at CVS, so I'm gonna go pick those up and then come back put all the photos in their frames and start decorating. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's fully done. All right, we're back. This entire experience has cemented for me that I will be a CVS photo hater until the day that I die. Told you guys this morning, the only reason I went and got my photos printed at CVS instead of Walgreens, which I normally go to, 
Walgreens, forgive me, I'll never cheat on you again, was because there's a CVS way closer, way more convenient than the Walgreens. <sighs> this is the wrong size. I'm gonna throw something. Okay, so I go to this CVS to pick up my order. I placed my order this morning, as you guys know, got a 40% discount when I placed it online and it said total due in store $10.50 or whatever. It was $10 and change. I go, she rings me up, comes up to $17.84. I said, whoa, it's supposed to be 10. She goes, what? I pull up my receipt on my phone or my like email confirmation because I haven't paid the $10. I only said, it told me I would. Pull up my order confirmation on my phone. And I show it to her. I'm like, look, see how it says $10.50? Why is it charging me 17 and a half? She goes, oh, I don't know. It should have showed up when I scanned the QR code. There's nothing I can do. I was like, there's nothing you can do? She calls her manager over. Her manager doesn't know what to do. They call like the corporate help number. They can't help. I'm in there for like 20 minutes in this CVS. I I'm not about to pay double for this order that was supposed to be $10 and end up being 17. I usually don't stand up for myself, but this time I did. I was like, this is ridiculous. I did end up paying the $17 because I was like, I've wasted so much time and so much mental energy on these stupid freaking photos. I'm leaving, goodbye. So I paid my 17 and a half dollars. I'm gonna try and contact them like their customer service, you know, satisfaction guarantee which they emphasize on the envelope and get that fixed. Anyway, we did indeed get the photos. I got this one of the Capitol. I got it in the wrong size. I should have ordered a four by six, but I ordered a five by seven. So I'm gonna have to manually cut this. <laughs> then we got three big ones. First up, I got this one of the Capitol on like a bright summer green, like beautiful day. Then I got this one of Two Lights Lighthouse in Maine. This is my favorite lighthouse. I love this view. And then lastly, I got this one. This is just of an island in Maine that we drive by whenever we go on the boat. So those are my cutie little photos that I'm going to be putting in their frames. I'm going to cut this one down to the size that I actually want it to be. And then we're going to start putting them up on the shelves. To CVS photo, Screw you. Walgreens, I'll be back next time I need photos. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's later. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna include. I've been like working hard all day, but a lot of time has passed since I talked to you guys last. It's 4.45 p.m. I have been grinding. I don't even know what I'm gonna tell, what I'm including in this vlog versus my other vlog, my decorating vlog. I'm sure I've said that seven different times already in this video, but my short-term memory is like leaving. It's going. It's, it's on its way out. I don't know. I have been so forgetful recently. Not about like big important things like my schedule and calendar and that kind of stuff. Like I'll remember the important stuff I'll remember. But like the other day <laughs> for my get ready with me video, filmed the video and then immediately after filming took thumbnail pictures. And then like three hours later, the sun was going down and I was getting, I was about to go take off my makeup. And I was like, oh my God. Oh no. Like I forgot to take thumbnail pictures. So I put my interview outfit back on and took more thumbnail pictures, like genuinely believing that I forgot to do it the first time. And I was like, wow, that was such a good catch. Like, good job remembering all this stuff. And then a few days after that, I go to start editing the video and make the thumbnail. And I remembered obviously that I took the second round of pictures. I was like, okay, good. The thumbnail's gonna be fine. I have these pictures already. And I go into my camera roll and I've got all the pictures that I took as part of the second shoot. And then I see all of the pictures that I took the first time that I just have no memory of taking, still to this day, have no memory of taking those first round of pictures. So I'm like only a little bit concerned about my short-term memory. So we'll see when I go back to edit this video, if I'm just repeating myself, I'm sure that I am. Anyway, you know when you like start a project and then you fizzle out like when you're 75% of the way through and you're kind of like, I don't really feel like doing this anymore. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at with decorating. So I think I'm gonna take a break. I still have to do my bathroom, but I finished my kitchen table slash desk area. Um, it's still a little bit of a work in progress, but I think all things considered, it looks pretty cutie. I'm also in the process of washing my sheets because this morning when I installed the shelves in my wall, all the drywall from the drilling got all over my sheets and pillows. Even though I put plastic down, did not help at all. Actually, it made things worse. So anyway, I had to wash all my sheets and pillowcases and stuff. And they're currently, they're done in the wash, but I need to put them in the dryer. And for whatever reason, that just seems like a big task. 
I think, okay, it's 4.45. I think what I'm gonna do is, I need to figure out what I want for dinner. I think I'm gonna make salmon for dinner. So I have salmon in the freezer that I need to defrost, but I usually don't eat until later. So maybe I'll have a quick snack, thaw my salmon, have a snack. And then while that's thawing, put my sheets in the dryer and then edit a video. I also need to film a brand integration um, before the sun goes down. I mean, it's not really sunny out today anyway, but before the light dies, while the lighting is still good, I need to film an integration for a video for my video that's going out tomorrow. It's always so funny talking about things that you need to do like as a content creator, as an influencer, because I always think about like the controversy. Do you guys remember there was a TikTok a few years ago? I think it was, I think her name's Michaela. She filmed this video where she was like, I just got off work, it's 5 p.m. Like try being an influencer for a day. And everyone was like, babe, that's what everyone does at office jobs, but you get to be at home and like your work is looking pretty in front of a camera. So it's always funny for me when I talk about like the things that I need to do for my content, like for this job. Cause I'm like, is that what I sound like? Being like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I have so many things to do. And it's like to people who have like hard labor jobs or like spend 16 hours a day at the office, they probably watch my videos and they're like, your to-do list consists of coloring pages and having a little treat. What a lot of people don't realize is like the mental energy that it takes to make content. Cause if you're like not in the right headspace, it you can tell like it shows and then it's not enjoyable for anyone. And I feel like that's like, I'm getting tired. I'm getting sort of, I think I'm hangry also. <laughs> I am rambling. I'm so sorry for myself trying to edit this video. Good Lord, what a pain. <laughs> oh man, okay. Yeah, so to recap, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm gonna be done with decorating for the day. I'm gonna save doing my bathroom for tomorrow when I have a little more, a little more stamina. I'm gonna pull meat out of the freezer to thaw. I'm gonna switch my sheets into the dryer and then I'm gonna start editing my video for tomorrow. And I'm gonna film the clip that I need to for tomorrow also and I can edit that in. Is there anything else that I need to do that I'm forgetting? I don't think so. Hopefully not. good morning but it's not morning I've had a very like slow relaxing day it's been really really nice I let myself sleep in this morning you guys saw last night I was so tired I was just like I think in need of just like some time to decompress so I took that last night and like a little bit this morning but I'm feeling refreshed like I said I slept in I just got home from a walk I went on like a three mile walk I think I took some clips for the montage but I was just feeling kind of like stuck in a loop I was like oh my god I need to motivate myself to do stuff but I wasn't feeling motivated and I couldn't figure out a way to motivate myself and then I was like okay I'm just gonna go for a little walk and then it was so beautiful outside and I ended up walking for three miles <laughs> anyway I'm about to make lunch and I thought it would be fun to do a little mini episode of chefing with Charlotte. I think I've only done one of these so far in the past. I made like pasta, like a tomato pasta for dinner. It was really good, but today we're just making lunch. I'm gonna make salmon with rice and broccoli. I meant to make this last night. I think I told you guys I was pulling my salmon out of the freezer so that I could make it today or so that I could make it for dinner last night, but I ended up losing my, uh, my steam and I ended up just having like a microwave quesadilla for dinner, but I haven't been eating all that well recently So I want to try and fix that. So we're gonna be making just like a nice healthy lunch What I usually do is I try to make multiple portions so that I don't have to cook as often So like I pulled two pieces of salmon out of the freezer yesterday I'm gonna make two servings of rice. So I'm gonna move you guys so you're not um 
on my burner. But yeah, we're just gonna make a quick lunch. It takes about 15 minutes because that's how long it takes for the rice. So it's perfect for lunch. I'm trying to like gather some quick and easy recipes that I can meal prep. Once I start working, I wanna try and like bring lunch as often as possible to save money and also like it's better for you. At my old job back in Maine, I would go out and buy lunch almost every single day and like, it was fine, but one of my goals for 2024 is to cook more. So I want to try and learn some more recipes so I can like meal prep and bring my own lunch to work. We've got a little bit of time for that start. I don't know. I don't remember how much I told you guys on Tuesday about the job, but I would basically be starting in mid-March. So we've got a little bit of time, which is good. Anyway, I'm going to wash my rice and make this quick little lunch. Enjoy this little mini episode of Chefing the Charlotte. This actually looks so good. I'll put, um, it's not really a recipe, but I'll put the directions, like the instructions for how I made this down in the description if anyone is looking for an air fryer salmon recipe. I just do it in the air fryer at 400 degrees for like eight-ish minutes. The rice I make like according to the package directions and then I add a little bit of butter and a little bit of ranch dressing just to like give it a little extra flavor. And then the broccoli I just chop into small pieces and saute on the stove with a little bit of oil and some sea salt. I use avocado oil um, because it has a higher smoke point and I tend to burn things. It does work better with actual oil though, rather than cooking spray, I will say. So if you're also nervous about using oil, avocado oil is a good one to use. Can't taste the difference, but it doesn't burn as easily. It doesn't smoke as easily. Let's give this a taste test. Cheers. Oh my god, it's so good. Salmon is one of my staples. It's so good. It's pretty good for you. I like to do it with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and then a little bit of paprika. And it just gets like nice and crispy on the top. Lots of flavor. It's so good. At some point, I've seen a bunch of recipes online for like salmon bowls, where it's basically like all of these ingredients, but you cube up the salmon instead of doing like a filet. And you put it obviously in a bowl with like stir fry veggies. I think that would be really good. So maybe that'll be something that I try next week. Okay, I didn't add enough something to the rice. There's like no flavor. I don't need salt. Okay, salmon is a 10 out of 10. Rice is like a four, maybe a five. Let's try the broccoli. Cheers. Broccoli is like a seven. I don't think I cooked it for long enough. It's not super crispy, but that's okay. Overall, so we've got a 10 out of 10, five out of 10, and a seven out of 10. My mental math skills are lacking. So we've got an average of a 7.3 out of 10, classifying that as a success, which makes my chefing with Charlotte total for 2024. My score right now is two and zero. Oh. So that's a win. 
Yay for me. I'm gonna finish eating this. I will catch up with you guys afterwards. Okay, I've decided today is pretty much just gonna be like a throwaway day for me. I tend to feel guilty whenever I have rot days. It's already 4.30 and I've already like, I've been on a nice walk, I've been outside. I kind of want to just have like a down day where I'm not doing a whole lot. I need to finish editing the video from last night, but I also want to finish working on my crochet blanket. I have been working on this blanket since August of 2023 and I'm so so close to being done with it I'm working on like the border of like around the edges So I think I'm just gonna kind of like chill for a little bit and work on my blanket And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done It's really pretty and I really want to be done with it not like I really enjoyed working on it, but I want to see like what it looks like when it's finished. So I think I'm just going to throw on like an old Disney movie or something and finish my blanket. We're just going to have like a cozy afternoon in. These kinds of days are honestly some of my favorites. They're just so like chill and cozy. I don't tend to film these types of days because it's not super interesting. Like I tend to film more on days when I'm like super busy, have a lot going on, but I wanted to include this just because like this is part of my week, like this is a big part of my life is like finding downtime, having hobbies that are like not monetized, I guess. Like I just crochet for the fun of crocheting. So let's work on this blanket and hopefully finish it so that I can show you guys the finished product. Okay, so it's the next day, obviously. Happy Friday. I finished the blanket last night. I wanted to show you guys the finished product. Okay, you ready? Yay! Oh my God, it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I can't believe I made this. Like I just created this out of yarn. Look how pretty it is. Oh my God. I love her so much. She's also the perfect size for one person. It's so cozy and soft and I love the colors. I will, I don't know if anyone else crochets, um, but I will link the pattern for this blanket down in the description if anyone wants to make it themselves. I will say that this is called a six day blanket, implying that if you work on it enough every day you could hypothetically make this in six days. Can there maybe not be a helicopter going by as I'm trying to explain my blankie? This obviously took me a lot longer than six days. I've been working on this since August of 2023. If you decide to make this, do with that information what you will. But I am very, very pleased with my blanket. This is the first crochet blanket that I've ever made. This is actually, this is the first blanket ever that I've ever made. And I am very, very happy with it. And it turned out better than I imagined it would. This is sort of like the close up of what it looks like. Obviously it's this like wavy pattern. And then what I was working on yesterday, what I'm really proud of is this little border. So it's like all of the colors and then this like scalloped edge in the darkest blue. And I love her. The only thing is I don't know where to put it. I may put it like in my TV console. I may also get like a blanket basket at some point and put it in my living room somewhere. Like I think, right there next to the TV console. I might get a basket to like put this blanket in and I have a couple other blankets, but it might also just hang out on the couch. But anyway, that's the blanket. Otherwise, I've been having a fairly productive day so far. I low-key kind of forgot that I was filming this video today. So it's about 1.30 in the afternoon right now, but I've been having a really productive day so far. I've been up since like 7.15 this morning because I wanted to get up and edit my video so I could get that published for you guys today. I try my best to post on Sundays and Thursdays, but obviously I had kind of like a slow, calm, quiet day yesterday and I didn't post my video yesterday, so I needed to post it today. So I've 
I've been up since early this morning editing this video. I just finished doing my rough cut. Now I'm about to go back through and watch it just to make sure there are no mistakes or anything. I always try and watch my own videos through at least once before I publish them just to make sure that like I edited everything properly and that there aren't any like duplicated clips or missing footage or anything like that. So I'm just gonna finish editing this and hopefully get this posted. I think I'll be able to post it before three o'clock, which is usually like when I try to somewhere between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. is usually when I try and post. And then I've got a couple other things that I wanna get done today that we'll move on to after I finish editing and uploading this video. gang the video is posted it went out probably like an hour ago maybe a little bit a little bit more than an hour ago it's 4 45 right now i have dinner plans with a friend tonight at like seven ish so i think i'm just gonna like rest and work on my bullet journal until it's time to pack up my stuff and go i think i'm gonna take a quick shower and then just like allow myself a few hours. even if it's just like an hour work on my bullet journal or like maybe read a little bit do some calm non-stimulating activities speaking of my bullet journal i worked on this a little bit this morning if you guys saw my march reset vlog that's when i made some new spreads for march but i made a cover page for march that i actually ended up hating i'll put a picture on screen of what it looked like at the beginning i really really didn't like it and i knew that i didn't like it as soon as i finished it i was like oh this is gonna have to change so this morning I just made some minor tweaks, but this is what the March cover spread looks like now. It's not even all that different, but I feel like the changes make the biggest difference. So like I covered up the TV background with like brown paper instead of coloring it brown with marker. And then I did a more like stylized title for obviously the month of March. And I think it looks so much better and it made me so happy. I did this, it took me like 10, 15 minutes. Did it while my video was exporting and it made me so happy and it was just so calm and peaceful. So I'm gonna work on my bullet journal just for fun not even to like achieve anything just like for fun for a hobby for entertainment you know i don't even know where i'm going with this but i don't know i guess this is me just like giving myself permission and therefore like giving all of you permission if you need it to like take a break and allow yourself to like be okay with not needing to be productive 100 percent of the time it's okay to spend the afternoon in your jammies working on your journal like that's fine <laughs> and i feel like i just need to hear that so i don't know maybe someone else on here needs to hear that too so that's my plan i'm gonna take a shower and then come back and work on my bullet journal for a little bit before my dinner plans with my friend happy friday cheers to taking the rest that you deserve I feel so rested and refreshed. I really should have more just like dedicated relaxing time, but I packed my bag. I'm heading over to my friend Erin's. We're having dinner and then I'm spending the night at her house. So that's gonna be it for this week in my life vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys prefer these longer like week in my life videos or if you prefer the shorter, more intense like one day in my life. I like filming both. So let me know whichever one you guys prefer or if you like both, then let me know that too and I'll keep doing both. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one so let us dance Bye, guys. <laughs>